In this tutorial video, I will be showing you how to start your coil vase. The first thing you're going to want to do is to create a pinch pot the shape of the bottom three inches of your sketch. You see here that I'm using a marker to emphasize that bottom three inch shape. After you have that, you're ready to start making your pinch pot. You're gonna start off with a pinch pot just like how you did for our imagination project. But the difference is we are actually going to try to make a flat bottom for it. So once you've get, gotten the bottom thin, you're gonna go ahead and press it down onto a wear board. Also notice I have a banding wheel underneath that helps in order to spin the pot around and around. Now it's time to build up the walls. Notice how I'm pinching up with my index fingers on the inside and my thumbs on the outside. Make sure you keep even pressure as you go. The angle of your fingers will determine the shape. So you might notice that I'm going at a slight outward angle to mimic my sketch. Throughout the process of creating your vase, you're going to want to keep on referencing your photo. After looking at my photo, I decided to start shaping or scraping the outside of my vase. You can use the straight edge of a wooden tool as you move the banding wheel around and around. You may also use a metal rib. Now you can see how I grab my sketch and I'm really carefully looking at that angle of the outside wall. I noticed that it was too straight so I'm using my fingers on the inside to stretch it outwards. So in this pinch pot, I had my shape going outwards, but I want to show you how you're going to make it if you want it to go inwards. So like I said before, it's the angle in which you pinch that really matters. So you see here that I'm using my fingers, putting more force on my thumbs and getting that angle to go inwards. The same thing applies as before to make sure that you have firm, even pressure all the way around. You don't want to go really hard one place and really soft another. This will make sure that it stays symmetrical. Now that I have the basic shape, I can begin smoothing it out using the wooden wood tool, the side of the wood tool, and the banding wheel as it turns round and around. Another way that I shape my pinch pot is by using the wooden stick on the outside of the pinch pot. You can see here that by gently tapping it on the outside, the vase or the pinch pot starts going inwards. This is a technique that we will continue to use throughout the making of this vase. Refining the vase with a wooden stick as you turn the banding wheel is a really nice way to ensure that it stays symmetrical. At times, the top part of your vase may get really wonky, meaning some areas are really high and some are low. If this happens to you, you can use a needle tool along the outside to create a flat, even rim. In this case, you say here, I didn't necessarily have to do it, but I still wanted to show you how. Once you're finished refining your pinch pot, it's now time to add coils. But let's go ahead and try to do that tomorrow. So for today, go ahead and take your plastic, wrap it up, and then tuck the plastic underneath to make sure that it stays wet. 
Okay, so that's it for our first step involving making a vase. I hope you guys have fun.